welcome to Sonic Circus Underground, Renegade Radio in your mind. Today's word, conspiracy. <gasps> Relax, we're professionals. Everybody, just breathe. That's it. Deep breath in and out. Breathing together, we conspire like the sea. See, conspiracy is just like you think it is, only better. Class, get back here. I don't know how those pirates get into the Esther classroom, but let's hope the advertisers don't follow. Besides, are you sure the Sonic Circus isn't selling something by the seashore? <laughs> Let Marvy teach class for five seconds. Hmm. So, on to our fourth lesson in cosmic significance. Tune your minds to April Fool's Day, 2012, and the Everglades Swamp. <laughs> Mind those alligators. See under that tall oak hammock? An alien family is enjoying a picnic far from human eyes. Don't stare. Choi and Mara may be naked, but they are covered in hair, so it's the same as clothes, yeah? Mara, love, those tuna sandwiches are delicious. Oh, oh, thank you, sweet Choi. The secret is fresh tuna. Mmm, what a lovely picnic spot. This warm air feels so good. <sighs> Where has Keepiter gotten off to? Oh, he's fine, Mara. There are no dirtlings for miles, so let's just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> I hate to interrupt. My name is Smythe, and this gun and I are here to remind you that Wakis are barred from visiting planet Earth, except in designated areas. Nonsense. We've been coming here for thousands of years. We carefully avoid you backwards, humans, and only go to places like Nepal and the Redwoods. That's right, darling. Now, put that gun down, sir. No, I think not. As a matter of fact... (laughs) I do love the paralyzer setting on my trusty Acme Disintegrator ray gun. You'll stay right there. Now, if I could only get rid of the stench. Now, who did you bribe? Put enough credits into the greedy tentacle and you can go anywhere in this universe. Well, not this time, Wiki. This time you're coming with me. Who's there? Run! Keep it around! Run! No, how you think you're so clever, do you, you naked hairy freaks? Your little teleporting monster can't have gone far. Smith was right about that. A very short hop. Actually, tune your minds to the other side of the river. Yes, right there, where the Day family is also enjoying a naked lunch under the Florida Oaks. Gloria, babe, these faux foo sandwiches are delicious. Thank you, sweet Caesar. Fresh foos are the secret ingredient. Oh, what a lovely picnic spot. <laughs> This warm air feels so good. Oh. Hmm. Where has Eloise gotten off to? Oh, she's fine. There's no tourists around for miles, Gloria. Let's just mm, mm, enjoy ourselves. Mm. Oh. oh, it's Caesar. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's leave them to their canoodling under the canopy and look over there. Eight year old Eloise Day builds a satellite dish of sticks, shells, and snakeskins. There, that boosts the power. Mm-hmm. Transmitting a message to Mars. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Hi, hi. Me, Eloise Days. See? Me, Eloise. You. Hi, hi. Weird. I don't understand your words, but I see them in my head. You're K. 
computer, right? <laughs> Can you really teleport? <laughs> Alone? <laughs> Family captured? Oh, Pete, come on. Mom and Dad will know what to do. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is Pete. Is he from Jupiter, too? Where are your folks, my furry friend? <laughs> he don't speak English good, but I can hear him just fine in my head. Don't worry, we'll get you back home, son. Into the minivan, everyone. <laughs> now, no teleporting in the back seat, you two. And we're off to see the wizard. La 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 oh, la. Oh God. The Day family took the alien boy to Lost and Found at Dizzy World, one of the few places aliens are allowed, but only at night. They would know just how to reunite a lost wiki kid with his maka and paka. <sighs> and now let's look in on Dante. He's inside the Tartarus saucer spaceship Roger 10-4 with Ogin, caretaker of the Hoppy Astrati. <laughs> I can't believe it. Veronica, my beautiful, flexible kind of droid love, gone. Died saving my life. And now I'm gonna have a baby. And Nampea's medicine bag stuck to my chest. A son? Or a girl? Am I a mommy or a daddy or both? Dear Lord, or Uber Lord. Whatever it is, Journal, I'll let you know. <sighs> hey, Ocean, watch it. Hmm. The Papu has attached itself to your heart. We must get you to the Herpy on Jupiter's moon Callisto or you may die. Roger 104 can erase his space trail if he makes short hops, so the crew's equestrians cannot track us. First, we will go to Ceres and rendezvous with Tanaka. Great! Ceres is a dwarf planet in the asteroids, right? Dude, it's like the scarier planet. Cowabunga! While Roger 10 for careens through space toward the planet Jupiter, let's tune into Jupiter Island, Florida. Look down there on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean. This Astrate beach house is a mansion by Earth standards, and for the Day family, it's perfect. I'll get it. Oh, Caesar, our girl is home. Hugs, everyone. Dad, I've been to Mars and... Shh, honey, I know, I know. My friend Kinnikin and the Knights of Jai helped us out. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> now, don't be like your cousin Stormy, always bursting into precipitation. So, who is this lovely, uh, green-skinned friend with you? This has been the week for visitors. This is my uh, girlfriend, Liza. Smythe pushed her into a fish shredder and Dandy cloned her and, well, it's a long story. Your gill friend, is it? Well, carpet my DM. Welcome, Liza. Swim with us and we'll always have a porpoise. Dad! You must be Caesar Theosophilus Day or Seize the Day and Glorious Sunshine Day, Glorious Day. Oh, I've always wanted to meet the family with such ponderful names. Y'all are just in time for supper. Set the table, Eloise. Yes, Mama. Liza, I like your girls. Can you teleport too, like Pete? Who's Pete? My friend. He taught me... Eloise, don't pester Marvy's fish. Set the table. Yes, Mama. Won't the crew's equestrians find Marvy here? Certainly. Just like all Astrati, we hide in plain sight. Besides, our Knights of Jai have set up a perimeter. Even the reptoids and their puppets can't penetrate. You should not have stayed away so long where we could not protect you. Well, sit down, everyone. Eat. Dear Journal, I'm writing at an ice table on the hangar deck while Roger recalibrates here on Ceres, the Scurrier home planet. Roger's database says Ceres was discovered by Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801. Sir William Herschel named it an asteroid. 
a word he made up from the Latin meaning star planet, asteroid. So I guess asteroidi means star people. Anyway, Ceres is an iceberg planet. The Scurriers have carved their headquarters deep into the ice, but still really cold. The Scurriers all run around in what they call mantles, but they're really just big fuzzy bathrobes. Mine's light blue with pale pink and white daisies. It keeps me and the baby nice and warm. Dante, pardon the interruption. Tanake, hi. I'm glad to see you're safe. I thought you were Ochen, here for another physical. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Dante. No sign of Veronica. But I found this. Hmm. And your cuff? Not just jewelry. Bioorganic circuitry, and it is very- Hey, it has my initials. DD. Oh, Veronica. Let me put it on. Hey, I hear something. Weather for Freeport of Ganymede. No ion storm. An automated weather report in her voice. I'll wear it always. But I am getting tired of this freaky papoo. Look at my fat belly. Uh, sort of. In 2,000 years, I have never seen a papoo grow so swiftly. Ochen. Oh, here we go again. You taking more blood? Your DNA must be very compatible with our engineered Hopi stock. Stay still. I wonder. Ouch! Would you? Hmm. Swiftly. We must hurry to Callisto. All right. Everyone, aboard Roger Tinfo now. No, 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 no. Hang ten, gentlemen. Right as way. Roger, take us to Paris Athena and then on to Ikaru beyond the asteroid belt. Surely, dude. No way. The odds of successfully navigating an asteroid fields are, uh, uh, calculating. Oh, no way. Recalculating? Verifying? Ugh. Way. Here's like a billion to one. In our favor. Dude, stand by for warp drive. Kawabunga! I don't feel so good. I'm gonna go lay down. Dante went back to his quarters to try and forget his worries. But do you see that? Meldek the Reptoid speaks to Dante in his dreams. <laughs> Your child should be the perfect vessel for my master king of worlds. <laughs> that does not sound so good, yeah? Ugh. Wow. Well, that wasn't restful at all. <sighs> Maybe a little radio. Roger, tune into 88.5, will you? Sure thing, dude. Coming right up. You're tuned to the Sonic Circus FAQ Show. Caller, what is your name and your question? I'm Marvie. My friend worries about her looks. I tell her she's beautiful, but she just flaps her gills at me and peels off a scale or two. She's broken all the mirrors in the house. Bad luck, eh? Well, looking in the mirror is pointless anyway. Well, what do you mean? Mirrors are supposed to show us what we look like, but they don't. They can show your hair is too short. Hey, mine's grown out some. Or that you nictitate and have green skin. But they don't show us what we really look like. The image is backwards, you mean. What you see in the mirror is not what others see, but merely a reflection of your own self-image. It's why Alice fell through. You see what you want to see, and so do they. Read Anais Nin. <gasps> Ooh, Delta Venus. Who said, we do not see things as they are, we see them as we are. Self-reflect on that. Ah, I see. I, I think. Oh, our time is up. Mirrorly, we sail along to the modal node at Freeport of Ganymede. Until next time, don't forget to look at yourself. Approaching Palace Athena, Fubar, this planet to which got a mad orbit. I was a Dunzo butler, but as a TARDIS saucer, I'm a leaf on the wave. We've arrived just in time for the parade. Nom nom nom. Wow, look at that. The Hindu Festival of Happiness is an ancient processional on Palace Athena. Hundreds of ships shaped like eagles and dragons evoke the spirits as they dance in the starry sky. Fireworks spray in all directions as they converge to the temple. I saw this festival an eon ago. It's even more beautiful now. How many Estrati cultures are there, Tanaki? Many. The Jibdo live around Saturn, as you know. The Indu are here and on Varuna. Buto on Venus. 
scattered among the oids are Dinka and Yano. And of course, you've met the Americans. Nom, nom, nom. Mayor Dizzy and General Gannity on Mars. Not anymore. Nampere destroyed all the starboards on Mars. The cities have been abandoned. Scurrier Intelligence says the Americans have joined forces with the Cruise Equestrians in search of a new planet. I think they are all in league with the Gypto. Perhaps. No matter where we go, Dante, I fear you are not safe. Not even here, nom nom nom. What is it? The Cruise Equestrians! They found us! Again! Quick, back inside, Roger 10 4. Where is he? Right here, disguised as a fruit stand. Wanna try banana? Just go, Roger 10 4. Engage! Cowabunga! Now, class, the Cruise Equestrian Order on Earth dates back to the Anunnaki. By 2012, they had morphed into the secret service of the Dirtling Astrati, headed by High Priest Dr. Zacharias Smith, the Y, and his ex-wife High Priestess Ozona Knight. Listen to them fighting in the HAARP Weather Control Center. Just like old times, yeah? My dear Ozona, you show far too much sympathy. Glory is only a cousin, after all. You're as cold as the dead, Zack. I'd hope to inherit that house once Stormy marries, don't I? I'm a tiny accident away from the Day family beach estate. Well, Dante's escaped, so that's off the table, isn't it, Ozona, my putrid peach? If you had succeeded in indoctrinating him, we wouldn't need to whip up this hurricane and put my future estate at risk, my grotesque goblin. Show some backbone. Pindar demands we flush Marvi out. We have her pesky brother on the run and we'll capture him soon. So focus on the girl, shall we, my egregious ex? Stormy, are the ionic spheric heaters online? Yes, Charles is now a Cat 5 hurricane. Put the eye on Jupiter Island at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, class. We had better look in at Marvie and her kin nude body surfing in the Atlantic Ocean. Welcome to our private beach, where you're a private, so welcome. How perspicuous. It must be plain ass day. Dad, so what are we going to do about the reptoids? Oh, now, honey. Caesar, my love. If she's going to be ready for what's to come, she needs to know. Know what? Gloria, babe, as usual, you are right. Okay, daughter and fishy friend, listen up. Since Atlantis, humans have been at war with reptoids. It's a quiet war. Most people don't know it exists except in metaphor. Demons, dragons, and dementias haunt the trammels of the human mind and frighten us, separate us from each other and the universe. These interdimensional creatures feed on our negative emotions. They possess powerful human hosts to bask in massive attention fields they generate. Heads of state... Celebrities, noble families, the worst part, oh. The worst part, my marvelous daughter. Our family descends from every royal house of antiquity. Our genes have been cultivated to host the reptoids. That is why they were able to get inside you so easily. Oh, Uh, Why didn't you tell me this before? We've been into exile after Dante was lost to keep you safe. We thought the less you knew, the safer you'd be. We were wrong. When you moved out on your own to St. Pete Beach, the reptoids got to you with mind melds. And that is also how we will defeat them. What do you mean? Martha, all Estradi have a role to play. Soon, you will be asked to do your part. Sweetheart, you will have to be brave and naked. I think she has that part uncovered. (laughs) Marvie, I can reach you telepathically. I see you there. Can you see me? Oh, hi, Daddy. You look so young in here. Marvie, can you keep the reptoids out of your mind when you want to? Yes, Mama. The Buto monks on Venus taught me. And what did they show you, my sweet? Ad Gaudia. Be happy, be joy. Ad got ya. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? 
It got dark so fast. Look at those black clouds. Is that a hurricane? Girls, get inside. It's a twister. It's a twister. Sam Sonic here with this news flash. And no, I'm not naked. But skinny dippers in Jupiter, Florida had better batten their locks of hatchies. Hurricane Charles is right on the island. Now to Sal Sonic, seeing it all in the eye. I see all, Sam, here at the seashore with a seeing eye dog named Charlie to see the eye of the storm, Charles. <laughs> so, be seeing you. Now, back to our program. Shaka nar nar bra, we're surfing into Vesta. Dante, you must go to the Oracle of Vesta alone, where you will find a sign for the new chief inside you. What if I don't want my baby to be chief, Ochin? This is not for you to decide. Nampea chose you as the vessel to fulfill the Uber Lord's prophecy. So we are merely human cogs in their great machination? What if the Uber Lords want us to unify ourselves into one cullable herd? What if we're just serving ourselves up with mint jelly and apple in mouth? Hmm. That is one possibility. Nonsense. Tanaka, you know Scarier Gospel says the Uber Lords are wise and wonderful creators. Roger! Oracle I'm starving again! Show me the hollow menu! Grind it for mowing! Order anything! Totally! Hmm. I want lobster tail? And a leg of lamb, Greek salad, French fries, ice cream, and pickles. Gnarly, dude. Okay, coming up. Let's go back to Florida with Marvi and Lisa. Daddy says this hurricane is generated by the Harp Weather Control Center in New Orleans. My cousin Stormy's in charge of it. I thought you told me the Harp facility was in Alaska. Wait, what? Your cousin is steering that hurricane right at us? Second cousin once removed. The family tree is kind of tangled. Stormy, you day folk sure do live up to your names. Stormy Knight. She's a knight. G-N-Y-T-E. O-M-G-L-O-L. Well, all right then. Let's go stop her. The girls go off to the H. AARP facility to stop the stormy storm. Let's check in on Dante. Can you feel the baby kicking? <laughs> oh, already. Uh, now carefully, gently touch his feelings and... Mm, do you feel that? I hate these hormonal mood swings. I can sing rock a baby when you wish upon a spliff and 600 Estrada nursery rhymes. Roger, where the hell's my journal? I always keep it right here and it's gone. Chuck, keep your rope tied, dude. On your desk. Dear Journal, let me tell you about my mystical revelation at the Oracle of Solon Vesta. I walked into the huge temple, and it was empty. I was surrounded by columns and sculptures all alone. My back hurt, and the baby kicks knocked the wind from me a couple of times. I was just about to turn around and leave when... The smoke cleared and huge gold letters appeared in the air above me. They read, Ad Gaudia. That's it. Two words everyone out here seems to know. Like Aloha or WTF. But what does Ad Gaudia mean for me and my baby? I don't know, Journal. I just don't know. Well, he's in a huff, isn't he, Glass? Let's go see Bowie Green Sky on Callisto. The Hopi's beautiful cities float around Jupiter's little moon and resemble giant glass vegetables and fruits. Bowie's compound is a humongous artichoke with koi-filled petals. They fold up over the windows to make night. Let's listen as Bowie calls Akin on the holophone. Ocean, come in. Ocean here. Bowie, it is good to see you. Ocean, is the legend true? Will the Hopi really be able to return to Earth? Yes, Bowie. Dante's DNA is oddly compatible with the Hopi and does not contain the strand that prevents our passing through the Van Allen belts. It is good that you bring the Papu here to be born. The crew's equestrians have cornered us on Vesta. I fear we may not make it. Hold them off, Ocean. I will send help. Ah, now class, as you know, global warming is manufactured in the Gulf of Mexico. 
where warm gyres pump steamy moisture into the air. The harp facility controls it all. Ah, look there now! Smith and his explaining to the reptoid how they use weather to manipulate geopolitics. Oh, masterful lord, the harp weapon is supplemented by four dozen nuclear angels and can create spot weather anywhere on the planet. Uh, rain on the gay pride parade, uh, strike lightning over the free speech radio tower and make damn sure the sky is clear when a saucer is flying in. Uh, come, uh, let me show you the lightning thrower. It's perfect for taking out a private jet or, or even a limo. Ah! I've, I've seen enough! enough. Just make sure that hurricane hits. Pindar wants that girl! Yes, oh most merciful. Oh! Oh, I hate it when he's in my mind. Is Mordet gone? Oh, it's really quite disturbing to watch you talk to him like that. Like, like you're talking to yourself in different voices. Creepy. Ujet doesn't do that. She just... Silence! Stormy, bring Charles down on the day estate now. You're too late, Smile. Marvy! I should have known. You gave up your Astrati heritage, so you all have this coming. Smythe, trigger Pindar back. She's here. Tell Pindar she's... Oh, so you know Pindar. And Ujet. Oh. She speaks to me. Do you miss her voice? I wouldn't push her if I were you. Oh, Fish Girl speaks from a puckered green lip. What will Marvy do? Cry at me? I'm so scared. Stormy night. I don't care if you are my cousin. If you don't shut this evil weather machine off, I'll, I'll put this whole place down on top of us. Now you've done it. Marvy, you're floating, honey. Ozona, Ozona, you oozy old broad. Quick, quick, my acme disintegrated ray gun. I can paralyze her. I would suck you slithering, syncopan. You left it in the car. Go get it. Marvy, stop. <gasps> her eyes have gone all white. Y'all leave us alone! Marvy was floating in the air, channeling power directly from Hurricane Charles, until a huge wind blew at the women at the control center, pulling chairs and computers and humans from the floor. Meanwhile, the good ship Roger 10-4 is stuck in a cruise equestrian laser lasso and cannot fly forward. Dude, we're toast! The cruise equestrians have a hold of us! I can't go anywhere! Just keep yanking at the thrust, oh, Roger! Ochen! Oh, Ochen, oh, the pain! Ah. I was afraid of this. The baby is coming early. But it's only been six weeks! Ah. Your papu is about to pop. Oh, God! It feels like a creature trying to claw its way out of my chest! Ah. Tanaka? Help me hold Dante back on this table. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm not having my baby on the dining room table. Uh, it's coming out. Help! It's oh, uh, it's an alien. Uh, oh, get it out of me! Uh, How would you look at the time? Uh, class dismissed. Don't be late for session five. Cosmic Significance 2012 was written and directed by Dewey Davis Thompson and Elizabeth Brackman and is a production of Soundstage Radio Theatre and Pirates and Angels Productions. Full credits and web extras online at CosmicSignificance.com.